everyone. I am Liz Mercado, Independent Sensi Superstar Consultant. Today I want to talk to you about goals. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Yep, it's true. For many years, you have probably written down goals at the end of one year going into a next. I know I've done it. And somewhere throughout the year, you have forgotten even what you were going after. But that doesn't mean that we are failures or that our dreams are not important. It just means we didn't draw out a plan. So we kind of got stuck in our day to day, in our fast paced lives, and those goals just kind of withered away for a while. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to keep those goals very present and help you start achieving them. First thing you wanna do is write down your goals. Yep, very simple, right? Write them down. And also, if it's a goal that you can put a date to, then put a date next to it. So for example, I want to deep clean my house by spring break. There you go, you have an end date. Set down your goals and a date if possible. If you can really put a date to it, that's perfectly fine. You still wanna set that goal down. Next, you wanna work out a plan for each and every goal. And to set up a plan, you simply have to break it down. How are you gonna achieve this goal? What is gonna determine you achieving that? Is it a business goal? Do you need to get more customers? Do you need to get more team members? Is it a family goal? Do you need to pay off debt? Do you need to save money? Anything that you have as a goal, you need to work down to know exactly the step-by-step -step of what you have to do to achieve it. Now, to keep you motivated and keep you focused, you can do a couple of things to keep that goal in mind. Now, once you keep it in mind, you kind of remember what you need to do to work towards it. So, first thing first is you wanna create a dream board. I bought this like cord, cord board at Hobby Lobby. And I simply cut out or print out goals that I have and I put them on there. I have it in my office. So every time I come into my office, I see it. See it on a daily basis. And I don't take anything um, away, even if it's like a really big goal. Like I put it on there. I want to achieve it. It goes on my board. So this is a great way that you can do to see that goal on a daily basis. Next thing you want to do is get a planner, like any planner, and write down your goals. If it's a monthly goal, write it down at the beginning of the month. Write it down where you can see it every time that you open up your planner. If it's a yearly goal, then write it down you know, in the year to review or in the notes section where you can see it constantly so you can be reminded of what your goals are. I like to get inspirational planners because they help me stay motivated. This one is the happy planner and I will do a review on the happy planner in another video just to give you guys some feedback and show you guys how I use it to see if maybe it's a good fit for you but any planner that you like and love will work for your goals because all you need is to be able to write down your goals and set your plan into motion and then Another thing I, I highly suggest is that you stay motivated by reading books. Self-development is crucial. You always want to be moving forward intellectually because you can never be too smart, I say. So I read books that are um, self-development self or inspiration or even teaching me something. So like Mary Christensen has amazing books about business but growing in your business so I love her books and her books are so fun to read that it's hard to put it down like literally I have snuck myself into my bathroom or my closet to be able to read another chapter while my kids are looking for me um so they're really really good books and you can learn a lot from her uh, especially since she was in network marketing and she's kind of been in our shoes um, other books that are good are like the girl boss i love this book it's really inspirational and really motivational to see that someone that you know could be just like you just like me um you know no degree 
someone that was living basically out of a pool house can be a multimillionaire now. And maybe you're not looking to be a multimillionaire, but it's still motivation to see that you can achieve your dreams if you work for it. So put it, put your goal everywhere. I put it on my fridge. I put it on my cell phone cover. I even write stuff on my bathroom mirror because I want to see it constantly. The more you see it, the more you stay focused and motivated to work to your work towards your goal. I hope that you guys found some good tips on this video and that you will sit down and work your goals because you deserve it. Anything that you put your mind to, you can achieve. I believe in you and you can too. See you guys next time.